With the battle over 5G technology between China and the West already well underway, the race for 6G is slowly picking up pace. Beijing is already well ahead of its rivals on 5G infrastructure and coverage. So when it comes to the next step in telecommunications, Europe doesn't want to be left trailing. 6G technology isn't expected for at least another decade, but that isn't stopping Brussels from trying to get ahead of Beijing. We are launching our major 6G research programs. So 6G will make another step change uh, in performance, for example, enabling terabit capacities uh, to support telepresence or, for example, digital twins of uh, our surroundings. So this uh, will be a, a big step change. And it's, of course, important that uh, Europe um, uh, maintains its technology capacities. Whilst 5G promises to usher in a world where humans and machines constantly interact, like artificial intelligence and self-driving cars, 6G technology would revolutionize the digital world further. Some examples imagined would be hologram calls or even internet-connected gloves to control distant objects. With 6G, you can fundamentally rethink all of economic and human ecosystems and create a sort of a boosted version of reality. Think of production in manufacturing, think of education, think of entertainment. But the good thing is we are still defining what 6G is. So now it's about the standards, it's about the vision. It's likely that Europe will have to collaborate with allies like the US and Japan in order to compete with the economic and technological might of China. It could, however, lead to an unprecedented level of global cooperation because these kinds of technologies require a worldwide standard. It's very clear that we need a global standards and uh, we have very tough competition. Uh, who is the first uh, in defining these standards? And uh, uh, that is the reason why we have the auto. We know that uh, in practice, we need 6C technology after, let me say, uh, 10 years. But uh, for instance, when it comes to standards, it's very important that uh, we can very soon be ability, have ability to define these standards and so on. European companies like Nokia and Ericsson launched the Hexa X project earlier this year, which brings together key players from the industry to design and develop 6G. Chris Pitches, Euronews, Brussels.